This is a. Uh, this is the first time I've played over in Europe. I've been coming to Europe for seven years, and I didn't realize till this tour. It's the first time I didn't have that black cloud of George Bush over me, where I always felt like I had to apologize as an opening. Set where because people will judge you. People, you know, you always had that where someone's gonna like be in the audience thinking you're a dick because of him. Like there, there's some association with being American and you're, you're a dick because of George Bush. And like you guys must feel, you know, uh, with having a royal family still, where people around the world are going, what a bunch of fucking retards they must be. How backwoods fucking retarded do you you have fucking royalty and you guys are going hey we didn't want it it's not our fault but they don't understand everyone thinks you must be a big fucking group of simpletons living out some dungeons and dragons fantasy land bullshit with kings and princes do you have wizards and fairies too fire-breathing dragons, but it's not your fault. And you would always make fun of George Bush, and I understand you were doing it ironically. Like, how dare we ever make fun of any democratically elected official when we still live with this Stone Age, bow down to this fucking Renaissance festival. They're a superior bloodline to you, you boot-licking fucking supplicants. <laughs> Are you joking? And I love the backup argument that you get where, oh, yeah, we have a royal family, but uh, they're more figureheads than anything. And you go, that's even worse. You carry these fucking leeches around like golden ticks in your beard <laughs> and you fucking roll out red carpets and kneel down before them and your excuse is but they don't really do anything <laughs> huh? I, it's kind of more fucking dumb Miss America is a figurehead <laughs> but we don't have to buy her a hundred castles on the taxpayer's dime. <laughs>